Have you ever wondered the difference between a buy limit and a buy stop limit? And have you ever wanted to know how to do it in interactive brokers? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hello, everyone. My name is Brad Reed. I am a real life trader, and I would like to encourage you to be good. And by good, I mean get out of debt, achieve your financial dreams, and give generously to your community. Hope you enjoyed this free video. Um, need to tell you that this video is for education and entertainment only. I am not advising you to buy or sell specific stocks at specific prices. I'm uh, just going to talk about the general principle of what a buy limit is, uh, what a buy stop limit is, how they differ, and then how I do it in the broker. If you want to see some more free videos, swing over here to www.reallifetrading.com. We have uh, classes for beginners to advanced, day trading futures, uh, we also have live trading rooms for uh, day trades as well as longer term trading um, that you can subscribe for and watch us trade live with our own money. You can ask us questions about why we're doing a trade, when we're doing a trade, position size, all of that. We do commit to our subscribers that we will type in all the details of the trade in the chat pane and in a group messaging service called Slack. Uh, where we will share trade ideas, but we will post it in the chat pane of the webinar and in Slack before we go and do it in our own brokers. Now, uh, if you are not familiar with interactive brokers, swing over here to ibkr.com slash RLT. They've got uh, some of, if not the best rates in, um, in the world as far as trading, and they do have many, many countries outside of the United States. Um, yes, there are some brokers that are offering free, no trade commissions, but um, you get what you pay for. Uh, so at Interactive Brokers, I pay a dollar a trade or uh, half a penny a share, and the customer service has been great. I really like them. All right, so let's take a look at Tesla. Uh, today is January 3rd of 2020, and there's a lot of things going bearish today. Um, there was a gap down overnight. Uh, some things are recovering, but Tesla, while everything else got down, it gapped up. So I am more bullish than bearish on Tesla, at least as far as day trade goes. So I know I want to buy some at some point, and it looks like it just broke out. So let's first talk about what a buy limit would do. If I put a buy limit order about in here, what a limit by order is going to tell the brokers like, hey, if the stock gets to 449.07, because that's the number where I put the line, if it gets down to this price or lower, I want to buy some shares. So if the stock comes down to this point at all, my broker will buy me some shares. So let's just say... Um, if I want to buy some, and again, I'm not advising you to, I'm just saying that, hey, if you want to know how a buy limit works, uh, I could have a buy limit up here, in this case, 449.07. And let's just say I would have my protective stop at 443.30. And let me go ahead and put that up here so y'all know when, 0.07. Awesome. So I can then swing over here to Interactive Brokers. I've got Tesla pulled up right here. If you don't know how to do that, just type in Tesla. Then I like to hit Shift Enter. And just because this is a demonstration, I'm going to do one share. 449, I think I said 0 0.07. 107 would be just fine. And I like to always have my protective stop in, so I'm going to click the Advanced button. Click the attach stop loss. And I believe that was going to be 443.30. And then for the limit, let's just say a little bit under the high of the day, which is 454 even. So 453.98. 453.98. I like to click the save button so I can see the lines on my chart over here. And that looks exactly what I want it to do. If it comes down to the green line, I went in. Hang on, I need to make this protective stop a little bit lower. So over here, it looks like the low got to 443. The low on that candle was 443.43. 43. 
Um, so I guess it just may be a picture thing. So I'm going to click submit, transmit, and now my order is in. And if the stock comes down to 449.07 or lower, uh, it should buy me one share of Tesla. And if it goes down to 443.30, it will sell that at uh, the next market price. And if it goes up to 453.98, it'll sell my one share at that price or higher. Groovy. So that's a buy limit and we'll keep an eye on it to see if that fills. Now, the other type of order I wanted to talk about is called a buy stop limit. So what the stop limit is going to do is it's going to basically break it into two parts. Buy stop limit is going to equal buy stop plus, or I should say then, a buy limit. So the buy stop basically is going to tell a broker, don't do anything until the price gets up to a certain level and then do something. Now, in interactive brokers, uh, if you say buy stop, it'll default to what's called a buy stop market. And let's say, gosh, I have no idea why I'd want to do a high of the day break, but let's just say I'm going to do a high of the day break. Uh, I could tell my broker, do a buy stop at 454, which is the high of the day. And what my broker would do then, actually the market maker, because the, uh, all the broker does is pass the orders to the market maker. Uh, once the stock got up to 454, for the buy stop market, I would get filled at the next market price. Now the next market price could be way up here at 460, it could be way down here at 446. Now a big stock like Tesla that has huge volume, usually isn't going to gap around like that. Um, but I have seen some lower volume stocks that abs absolutely will gap around like that. And so to protect yourself just a little bit, you can do what's called a buy stop limit. So again, uh, once we get up to 454, buy stop and then do something. Just a plain old buy stop becomes a buy stop market. But let's say I want to do a buy stop limit. And I want to tell my broker, hey, when you get up to there, I want in at the next market price as long as it's below 450, 450. All right, so let me put this at 454, which is the exact high of the day. And bullish stop limit is this one. Now what I'm going to tell my broker once again is do a bullish buy stop at 454 and then once it gets there do a buy limit price as long as it's under 454.50 so as it's coming up it hits 454 as long as the next market offering is below 54.50 I will get filled and that's what I want to do now some people want it to uh, want to see it break out and then maybe they want to get filled down here. They want to get filled on a pullback and that's fine. Uh, in that case, you would tell your broker um, bullish buy stop 454 and then the limit buy down here at 449.07. Okay, so as we see that limit order that was just hanging out there just got filled. Let's go over here to interactive brokers and you can see now I have one share of Tesla as it pulled back. I also have my target out there at 453.98, my protector stop at 443.30. Uh, again, if I'm doing something different, like, I don't know, recording a video, or maybe I get to go run errands, or I'm in the other room playing with my kids, uh, I have my protection in place, I have my target in place, I can set it and forget it, and I know what my maximum loss could be, I know what my potential gain can be, um, you know, real life comes before trading and not just in the name of the company. Okay, so the buy limit just filled. Tell you what, let's change our stop limit order just a little bit. Let's say I want to get in if it breaks out of this candle right here where it just kind of reversed. Looks like a similar resistance to this over here. The high of that candle is 451.21 high of that one is 450.70. So 
451.21. If it gets up to 451.25, I want to get it at 451.30 or lower. So I'm going to do a buy stop at 451.25. And then the limit at 451.30. And then if it gets back up there, I will buy another share. So let's go over here, here to Interactive Brokers. I'm going to change the buy limit here to a buy stop limit. Now, see the, the STP there? That's the buy stop, and it becomes a buy stop market. Um, but I want to do the buy stop limit. Quantity of shares will be one. And then you see I have a limit price and a stop price. So again, if it gets up to 451.25, I want to get filled at 451.30 or below. And again, I'm always going to do a protective stop. I never want to have an order sitting out there without a protective stop ready to go because what if my internet goes out? What if I have to run up to my kid's school? What if, who knows what, I want to have my loss, my downside protected at all times. So I click save just to see my line and I see that the green line up there just a little bit over that resistance. So if it rotates back up there, that's where I will want to buy one share and then again get out right at the high of the day. So I click submit and transmit and my order is in. Let's go back over here to the chart and see if that's going to come back up. And because it may take a while, I'm going to pause the video. And when it gets closer to being filled, I will resume and we can watch it get filled. All right, so I switched over to the one minute chart here on Tesla. Looks like there's a little resistance here at 449.28. So I'm going to lower that order down to 449.30 for the stop part. Let's see, 449.30 for the stop part, and we'll make it 449.35 for the limit part and see if that'll get filled. Come over here to Interactive Brokers, and I'm going to modify the order ticket. And I did that by right clicking, come over here to order ticket. And I'm just going to change the stop price again to 449.30 and change the limit price to 449.35. And then this blue button is the transmit. And Right when I did that, the market price was 449.30, so I did get filled, uh, but I did get filled at 449.35. So it may have something to do with the bid ask spread, but there's my entry price at 449.35. Again, it might have jumped up. I did see it jump up quite a bit, so maybe it hit the uh, the buy stop at 449.30, and then the next market price was at 449.35. But regardless. Uh, I have showed you two trades, uh, a buy limit and a buy stop limit. I got filled on both of those, and that's how that works. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please go to www.reallifetrading.com to check out more free videos. And again, if you want to sign up with Interactive Brokers or just check it out, go to ibkr.com slash RLT. Thanks for watching, and as always, trade on logic, not on hope. Have a good one, everybody.